Congratulations on your purchase of the Brymill Cryac, world leader in cryogenic systems. Now that you've received your Brymill Cryosurgical Starter Package, let's go through some important information. You need to be sure that there are three boxes enclosed in your package. One box with the cryac unit and accessories. The next box should have the withdrawal tube. And the third box with the 20 SC door. Make sure the serial numbers match the invoice. Check to make sure all accessories are located in the boxes. The cryoplate, the four-hold clear plastic disc, confines the freeze just to the lesion. The set of spray tip apertures are labeled A, B, C, and D. Also included is the instructional DVD. The spray tips can be changed to determine the width of spray. The Cryac spray tip standard size is C. It's the most commonly used tip. You should have two C tips, one installed on the Cryac and the other in the Cryac tip package. The D tip is the smallest spray tip and the A tip is the largest spray tip. The bent spray tip was designed to get at hard to reach lesions and an instructional booklet which should be read and kept in a safe place. Then there's the withdrawal tube with its instructions. Make sure the serial numbers match the enclosed packing slip. Now it is time to find a liquid nitrogen supplier. It is as easy as going to your local phone book or internet. Start by looking under welding supply or medical gases. Let the dealer know you have a 20 liter door that needs to be filled at your office. Now let's fill your cryac unit. Open the cryac unit by unscrewing the top. Place the bottle on the table. Be sure to wear the appropriate recommended personal protective equipment. Remove the door cap and place it on the table. Pick up the bottle and withdrawal tube. Place the top of the withdrawal tube into the bottle. Lower the withdrawal tube with the bottle into the door, creating a seal. Fill the bottle about 70% full. Slowly release the withdrawal tube seal by lifting the tube and the bottle together. Place the tube in the handle. Put the door cap back on the door. Screw the top back on the bottle. Now turn the trigger to the proper front position of the cryac on either the left side or the right side of the nozzle. Your cryac is now ready for use.